Thursday. Hi, everyone. It's Beth Realman here. Uh, Pat's on his way to California right now. He was invited by Shalene Johnson to her four-day Marketing Impact Academy. So that's quite exciting, and I can't wait to see what he brings back to share with uh, Team Boom. And I have a couple of announcements, and then I'm going to have uh, my husband, Pete. He has a couple of announcements, and then I'm going to give it away to Amy to um, introduce her gold ship rock star coach, uh, Sydney. She's uh, ripping it up, almost getting to diamond in like four months, so she has some tips, and Amy and uh, Sydney will share. Um, so my first announcement is just uh, talking about the team cup that – we have a little over a week left, and Pat asked it on the 21st um, for people to announce like how many points they have so far. So this might not be totally accurate, but as, as of the 21st, the people that reported, we have Amy Morgan with 30 points, so that's quite exciting. Brittany Miller, 26 points. She's killing it. Then Sydney Freeman's team with 19 points, and then... Uh, my husband Pete's team, Team Boom Five, he, they have 16 points, and I, you know, there might be other teams with more points. And Team Beachbody, I mean, Beachbody is going to give away a bunch of prizes, but also Pat said that he was going to have a Team Cup himself that he's going to mail to whoever wins. So that's kind of cool, something to look forward to. And the next thing I wanted to talk about was the. Our retreat in Delray Beach, which is between on the east coast of Florida, between West Palm and Fort Lauderdale, between it's October 23rd to the 26th. So just a reminder for everyone: um, we have most people are going to stay at the Delray what is this, uh, residence, residence Inn in the Delray Beach, and I'll just give you the phone number, but also we'll post it in the group. But it's 207. 347-7900. It's 207-347-7900. And they have two, they have suites with a full kitchen with free breakfast and internet for 254. Sleeps five people with including tax. So that that's not bad. And then they also have for 179 plus tax. It's a double double bed, free internet, free um, breakfast. And I also have reserved some rooms. So if people, when they call, if they can't get a room, you know, if you message me, I did reserve some double room, uh, the rooms at 254, including the tax. Um, so if you message me, I have some of those rooms available that I could um, put your name on. And the other thing that we're, that's that's about all I had to talk about. So um, I'm gonna give it to my husband Pete. He has a couple things to go over, uh, <laughs> and then uh, we'll give it away to Amy. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll steal the show for a second. Okay. Uh, end of tomorrow. Uh, Body Beast, the base kit, is gonna be um, going on sale sometime at the end of tomorrow. They got the deluxe kit, the ultimate kit. They're gonna have uh, the challenge pack. It's going to go on sale. They're going to have the ex, uh, Extreme Supplement uh, Challenge Pack, which is going to go on sale next Monday. And also, we've got about a week left of the three-day refresh challenge pack deal for 140 and the Pio Challenge Pack. About a week. About a week left. End of the month um, for the Pio Challenge Pack. Okay, Summit, Summit to, uh, is July 16th through the 19th. It's at the Music Center in... Um, Nashville, Tennessee, and go, you know, if you haven't, you know, re, um, but that got on the waiting list, you want to get on the waiting list ASAP, um, go to coachsummit2015.com, um, and then go to lodging and travel on there, and it shows a map of all the hotels that are close by. Um, I know a lot of the rooms have booked up. And I know right now, um, if some of you read that, they've already registered 15,000 people. Last year we had between 8,000 and 9, or this past year we had between 8,000 and 9,000. And the year before that we had about 6,500. So this, this thing is really blowing up. 15,000 are registered. There's a waiting list already about that length. And sometime they're going to try to block some rooms at the Gaylord. I know um, 
somebody tried to book a room at the Hampton Inn, and it's that's all booked up. Um, but I just found out today, and this is really important, you're going to want to write this down if you're going to Summit and you don't have a room. The Hilton Inn is eight minutes away. They don't take reservations till 50 weeks out, and Beachbody is going to have a block there. 50 weeks out. I'm sorry, it's a Holiday Inn. I'm sorry, Holiday Inn. It's going to be, so August 2nd, write that date if you don't have a room. August 2nd, 8 a.m. in the morning. It's, they're going to have a block of rooms, and they're going to go fast. So if you want to get a room, August 2nd, 8 a.m. in the morning, they're going to have some discounted room rates. Um, let's see what else we have here. The, the fee, the, uh, the price for Summit was $99, the uh, early fee there, and that's why it booked so fast. But now it wasn't going to be refundable. Now it's going to be refundable with a $25 handling fee. So uh, they expect to be, you know, there'll be some rooms available because some people are going to have to cancel. Um, so I, I would not wait to get on that waiting list, and I would not wait to get a room. You can always cancel your room, you know, a week to a day before, depending on the hotel. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna have any thoughts about at all about going to uh, something, you better do, you know, get on the ball. Uh, one last thing I just want to tell, tell you about is the importance of Emerald. Um, I woke up a couple days ago because I get beach biting customers and I get them, I, I got just got out of bed and I had three points, random points from customers I didn't even know I, I'd reached out to, but they bought, you know, a challenge pack and they bought the, uh, and I also one of my Emerald coaches woke up the exact same day and got three points. And they're all customers that Beachbody gave Emerald and above coaches. So that's just a little emphasis on how important it is to get to Emerald. So, okay, that's all I've got. Hello. Okay, Amy, are you ready? Sydney on? Uh, Sydney, are you on? Yes, I'm on. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm like, uh... <laughs> is Jackie Leon as well? She, she just messaged us that she couldn't, and I don't see her on here, so. Okay, that's fine. Okay, cool. Well, I just wanted to have Sydney speak today. Um, she has been a coach since April, the beginning of April, so about almost four months now. Um, and she's been just one of those people who has been a real go-getter right from the beginning. Um, you know, I didn't, I haven't really had to be on like training her. She, the second she got a new coach, she was right there ready to train them herself. Basically. Um, she asked me about summit. She was like, so this summit thing, like, do you have to be a certain rank to go? Whereas normally I have to like, you know, beg people to be like, come on, just come, come. So she actually approached me about it and right on the spot bought her ticket. Um, you know, she's going to the Team Boom retreat. She already got her ticket for Summit next year and stuff. So she was just one of those coaches who right off the bat was, you know, in it to win it. Um, so I just wanted her to talk a little bit and I was going to ask her some questions. And just so you guys know um, so far where she is in her rank, she is an Emerald. Um, her first two coaches that she signed up, she found some really good ones, and she actually has six coaches right now. One is an Emerald on one side, and on the other side, her coach has one coach. So she's pretty close to becoming Diamond. And um, so we'll, I'm going to ask her a few questions. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we didn't rehearse, so. <laughs> That's good. Um, Sydney, did you, you achieved success starters and got on the call with Carl Deichler. So I just wanted you to kind of explain that a little bit to some of the um, coaches because, I mean, I didn't get that. So I, I know there's probably other people who did it and there's new coaches on here that could be striving for it. So if you could just explain that a little bit. Yeah. So for your first three months, if you hit success club, um, like Amy said, invited to um, a private call with Carl um, 
And I actually didn't really know about that until I got an email about it and I was like, oh, awesome. Um, my goal has always just been to make Success Club. And um, so now that you guys know that you have something like that to look forward to, it was just really cool. And Amy was invited on it with me because she is my sponsor coach. Um, so it was just a really cool um, thing to be on, listening to him give us that um, encouragement to keep doing better and keep hitting Success Club. Um, and Success Club is, if you focus on that alone, um, can be just so motivating. Um, I don't know. And then, again, with the call that you can can win, per se, just by getting um, that first couple months, um, just keep that in the back of your head. It's just a special little thing that you'll always have, that you know that you were um, on that call with the CEO of this amazing company that we belong to. Um, and that's just something that not everybody can say. Cool. Awesome. Um, and then another question I wanted to ask you was, what, how much time do you spend on Beachbody? And can you run us through kind of what you do each day um, to gain the success that you have right now? Yeah, um, I spend um, pretty much all day doing it. <laughs> um, I'm constantly checking my phone. Um, and it's just kind of from the second I get up till I till I go to bed, I'm constantly doing things. And it's not, it's just, it's easy. It's something I enjoy doing. It's not something I feel like I have to do. Um, but I'm kind of a little like OCD. Like when I get, see a message, like I feel like I have to look at it and I have to respond like as soon as I possibly can. Um, just hard being at work and stuff. Um, so on my breaks, I, I do what I can. Um, but pretty much um, every morning when I wake up, I do um, respond to the few messages that I have. And then if there's any um, recordings, any calls that I missed, um, I normally can't get on the national wake up call because I'm at work. Um, so on Tuesday morning, I usually listen to the national wake up call. Um, and then uh, post anything for my first post on Instagram for the day before I get to work. And then um, I take my break at work and do the same type of thing. I do my some invites. Um, and I kind of, um, I just have a list on my phone of all the things that I need to do every day. Um, and I don't necessarily do them at the same time every day or in a particular order. Um, but so once I start working on one of them, though, is that that's what I'll focus on more. And so if I start responding to my messages, then I'll go through my me my messages. Or if um, I'm on my break and I decide I'm going to do invites, then I'll just sit there and just do my invites. Um, and then right now, um, with getting some of the coaches I've gotten, um, I've gotten really lucky. I've had, I've got some really, all of them are just such great people and they're really motivated and already really dedicated to this. Um, and so they're going to be really easy to work with and easy to train. Um, and I know that's not always the case. Um, but you Where have you found um, your coaches the most? So Instagram. Um, yeah, I've had, I, I had, uh, one of them uh, came to me on her own. Uh, she saw one of my messages on somebody else's picture and came to me and said that she had always been wanting to be a coach, but didn't like any of the other people that she'd seen or had approached her. Um, so that's another good point. Like you never know who is watching you. Um, and then, um, Jackie Lee, I found, I found her on Instagram. Um, and she is, she's definitely one of my, one of my go-getters too. Same. We're like exactly the same. Like I don't have to, I don't worry about her. I check in with her and she, um, she asks me questions and, um, she's just amazing. Um, and then I've gotten 
one other one was from my post about the coach internship group and um, actually yeah one of one of them was from that um, so I really recommend doing those um, I've got a lot of leads from that just from Instagram posting on um, I think the first one I did I pretty much Patrick posted on his um, I up a little bit and um, I used a different picture because he put a picture of himself obviously <laughs> so I changed that but um, I get a lot of people that respond and say that they're interested and then you just jump on that um, so this upcoming group of people I'm really excited about because I've had I had two of them come to me as well and they're ready to like learn and they're excited about it um, and then on that note too what I've found that's been working really well um, now that we have this set internship group at the end of every month and I know that that's gonna happen um, that's kind of how I've been approaching mm -hmm. people about coaching um, uh, like the other day Amy posted the the invite to the group in team boom and then so the, there's a few people that I've been wanting to ask them about it and I so my introduction to them is I don't know if you saw uh, the post the other day but we have this internship group uh, just to show people about what coaching is all about um, and I thought of you I think you'd be a really great coach have you ever thought about doing this and the response I get from that is I think every single one of them has been like actually yeah I've, I've thought about it um, I just need some more information so that like right away um, I tell them well we have the group coming up and then I ask them if they want like a little bit more personal background and then I do the the coach message thread with them and now they're all just like so jazzed about the group and um, are already some of them uh, have already said they're for sure gonna sign up um, so that right there that's how I'm gonna start going for it from now on um, even before that post I'm just gonna be like I don't know if you've seen before that we have an internship group and just kind of offer it to them like that because I think a lot of people um, you know are just scared and are kind of like oh I, I don't think I could do that but if you come to them just saying well I can give you more information and then you can think about it um, that's been a really great great way to melt the ice I think yeah the coaching internship is awesome I know that Morgan signed like three coaches or something when she um, did her coaching internship me um, today or on Saturday I think I posted about the coaching internship group that we're running next Monday and um, I messaged a bunch of people and a bunch of them did not get back to me maybe only two or th I think I sent it out to like uh, probably 25 people and like three of them got back to me and then I went in again today and messaged all of them again and I got at this point now I have 20 people that will be doing the coaching internship wow. group and I know that like Sydney does this really well it's like if you have to follow up with people so on Saturday I had two or three and today I have 20 because I messaged them again and even when they're like oh I'm not really sure I'm busy you just kind of have to, um, you know, figure out things to say back to them. Well, sit like, well, it's on your own time. I'll just post the um, picture or the video, and you just comment whenever it works for you. Like, how about you just do that and try it out? And they're like, oh, okay. So instead of just saying, okay, sounds good, like, never mind, um, think of something to say back to them to get them to be um, become interested. So, so, um, so Amy, just to clarify. So you post in your challenge group about the internship. Is that is that what you were talking about, Sydney? So you kind of play off that because she's posting it. Yeah, yeah, she posted it right in the group. Um, she gave us all the um, the picture for us to have prior to that. So um, I had already posted that in my Instagram, and then um, she posted it right on the wall in Team Boom, and um, she put like. Uh, if anybody's interested tag your coach okay. and coaches tag anyone that you would think is interested and um, I actually got one of um, my people I had already talked to her about it and she said she'd think about it and then when Amy posted that and I tagged her just on that picture she said okay yeah I'll do it 
So now so, you're yeah. kind of doing that instead of the coach conversion going, are you, have you ever considered what I do? You kind of just use this in coach internship instead. Yeah. Well, I've been doing that also, um, ha asking them to like help out still and, um, you know, yeah, the co-leader. Giving them that co-leader opportunity, and then um, once they've done that, that's when I go. I don't know. Then I bring in the um, the coaching internship. I keep um, a an Excel spreadsheet on my computer, and anytime I talk with someone and they express some interest, or I think they'd be good at coaching and they're not interested right now, I put them on this on my list. So anytime we open up a coaching internship group, I'm messaging all of those people. And if they're not interested this time, I still leave them on my list to message the next time. And then anyone that I do add to um, the coaching internship group, I put their name on the same Excel spreadsheet like underneath. And so I know that when I go into a coaching internship group, I know exactly who's in my group so that I can tag them every day. And at the end, I can follow up with them. So I'm not just throwing people in there and then forgetting who's in and who's not and stuff. So um, you definitely have to be organized. Yeah. Um, yeah. And cool. So I know we talked about this a little while ago and – Actually, when you told me the numbers, I was like, wow, that's pretty good. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you and ask you how um, the financial aspect of Beachbody is currently affecting you and how you plan for it to affect you in the future. In the um, financially, right now, it's still just like a little extra money for me to have, um, which has been nice. So I've been starting to pay off um, some of the bills that I have and not, and I haven't really been worrying about it, which is really awesome. Um, so that is definitely motivating to keep me pushing forward because, um, and then listening to like the national wake up calls with the, the millionaires club, uh, members that talk, you know, I'm just like, okay, this, this can happen. And every, every time I, I get a challenge pack or I get another coach at uh, just kind of in the back of my head that like, okay, this is actually happening. I'm making progress. Um, you know, I just keep that positive attitude that, um, it's going the right direction. Um, and yeah, I've, I've been pretty lucky, um, with, Right off the bat, I have been able to kind of get a nice little paycheck every week. Um, and I know we talk about not focusing on selling, um, but sometimes I feel like I, I kind of do just because I want people to get, get some product so that they have the experience with it. And then I can build that relationship with that person. You know, when, they, when I give them this amazing product, um, they're going to believe me again the next time something awesome comes around or the next time they, you know, I really just need to lose a couple pounds. You know, do you have a couple exercises for me? And then like this month I can say, well, we have the three day refresh. So if you're just looking for a couple pounds. And then um, that's been really great this time around with people that um, haven't been so into Shakeology. Um, I did the Shakeology yeah a couple times actually and I had a lot of people that were really interested in that and then um, literally like right after I did that is when they announced the three-day refresh um, so people that had asked me about the Shakeology cleanse I went back and I was like you know if you were kind of iffy about Shakeology we have this brand new thing coming out and you can get it with Shakeology and just kind of continue on the process so that you don't lose those couple pounds and then gain them right back um, so yeah, the three day refresh I think is probably the greatest thing that we've <laughs> ever. <laughs> I agree. Cool. Do you have any like big tips for um, now that you're more of a leader and have coaches under you? Do you have any tips that you want to hear for? I don't know what that noise is. Um, I don't know. <laughs> if you have any like big tips that you want to share with us on. Like how you become a leader and how you lead oh. your coaches. Yeah. <laughs> Can everyone, oh, mute them? everyone try to mute themselves. It, it looks like most it's like, everyone's muted. It's call. It's a call-in user, and it sounds like it's 
Yeah, there's someone on a phone, uh, on, in a car, I think, that wasn't muted. It's okay. Well, okay. can you guys hear me okay? <laughs> yeah. um, I think my biggest tip is to, um, I feel myself get overwhelmed sometimes, and I just have to stop and, and again, that positive positivity. Um, I I definitely get have had those kind of negative like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna not gonna make it. I'm not gonna do it. And you just have to turn that right around and think positively and um and the, listen to those personal developments. Um, I'm listening to Eat That Frog right now, and there are just like some amazing one-liners in there that I am. Uh, I've been sitting there just writing them all down. Um, so that's really important. And when you feel like you're getting frustrated, you know, read some of your personal development or listen to some of – I've now become a huge fan of just listening because um, I used to think, oh, I need to read it so I can, like, highlight or have it to go back to. But now I just listen and I have a pen and paper with me right next to me in case something comes up that I, I need to write down. And then, um, yeah. like, from this morning, I just have, like, I have two sticky notes that I filled out of just little quotes for me to keep in mind throughout the day. Um, but so just don't get overwhelmed. And um, if you – right now with my, co my coaches, um, when I get that feeling of, like, well – nobody's like responding to me or what I feel like I'm in this rut. Um, just make sure that you connect with your coaches in that moment too. Um, Cause it's easy to, to forget that you have all these other people that are looking up to you. Um, and even within, I'm the same way with Amy. Like I appreciate it when she checks in on me or just, or um, gives me an extra little task to do. So that reminds me to do the same things with my coaches. Just check in with them, make sure they're doing okay, um, and to keep pushing them. Um, so right now, Amy asked if anyone would be willing to run Coach Basics. And um, at first, my first response to myself was like, oh, no, like, I don't want to do that. But, um, you know, I responded back. I was the first one to respond back. I said, yeah, I'll do it. You know, I just need to start um, – I've been thinking about ways to like become a better leader and be more out there. And, um, I saw this opportunity that Amy handed out to all of us and, you know, I just jumped on it. So I'm excited to, uh, for this to be my first step into being a, a leader and being, um, my first big group to run. So yeah. it's like as well. And I, but, and, and then I always know that I have Amy right, right back behind me. So whenever I have any questions, so she's always there and I just appreciate that so much. So I try and do that for my coaches as well. Awesome. And like a big thing that for Sydney and my relationship with her is like, she was saying she's one of those coaches where you just don't have to worry about them. And she, she doesn't have excuses. She's not messaging me saying I can't do this because of that and blah, blah, blah. Like, if she can't do something, she says, I can't do it right now, but I will do it. Or, um, so it's just for everyone in themselves, like just drop your own excuses and blaming other people for your, if you're not having success and stuff and just man up and become your own leader, <laughs> take control of things, like just run a group when asked and, uh, I don't know. So. <laughs> Everyone should just become leaders, even if you don't have any coaches. Just step up and, like, take the challenge of, like, and another thing Sydney's doing is she approached, another thing is she watched, listened to the National Wake Up Call um, without me having to say, watch the recording, listen to the recording, listen to the recording. It's just something that she's made part of her weekly thing is to listen to the recording of the National Wake Up Call. Um, she approached me with something that one of the top coaches were doing of a clean eating challenge. And Sydney said, I'd really like to, you know, run this challenge. Like, would that be okay? And I'm like, absolutely. Like, go ahead. Um, so just, like, just take in everything that you can watch YouTube videos of um, different coaches and leadership and get on all the national wake up calls and 
um, you know, plug in every day if you really want this, you know, to work for you and stuff. And Sydney's been and, a great example of that. And another thing I wanted to say too is that um, you always say, and heard Patrick say, I've heard a lot of people say, like the the most successful people are those people that ask the most questions. And I know that I I called you. I was like, hey, can I call you real quick on my lunch or something, like right at the beginning? And you were, we always like made it happen. Um, and now that I have more people, and I know I did this to you, that I was like, oh, I'm so sorry for like bothering you, or I'm sorry this is a stupid question. And now that I'm hearing those same things, I just want to like say to everybody, like, there's no stupid questions, and you're never bothering your coach ever. Like, that's what we're here for, and that's what you're going to be there for your coaches too. And so just keep that in mind that like if you have a question, ask it. And if you can't get to your coach, go to your upline coach. Like there, I can't imagine any one of these people here being like annoyed or upset that you contacted them about something like, and I've had other people contact me that aren't my coaches that ask me questions. And I think that that's the greatest thing. Like, yes, use me. If you have saw something that I did or something that I said, and you want to talk about it more, or you want to, you want to use a picture that I use, like, yes, absolutely, go for it. Or, yeah, I'd love to talk with you. Or do you want to call me? We can we can talk on the phone, like, anything. Like, And I think that's important for everybody to keep in mind is that you know, use your resources that you have here because there are some really, really great people that we have in, in all of our uplines. And so thank you for to Amy and to Beth and Peter. You guys are awesome. And, so. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Does anyone have any questions for Sydney? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. 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 Hello? Yeah. Can you hear um, Okay, so I don't have a question, but um, I was listening and you said that you were interested in doing the clean eating challenge and yeah. if there's any way that I could help you with that I would love to like help <laughs> yeah. with the clean eating challenge okay perfect I love, I love talking about clean eating so I think that would be right up my alley so I'd love that to assist you with it would be great I have I'm like I have five ideas and I want like two or three more that I can go with so that would be great awesome. I'll message you, you want I, yes awesome <laughs> Sydney, do you want to share what you're doing for the clean eating challenge so others? Uh-oh. Um, uh, let me see if I can find my notes oh. on it. Um, like, I know like, I don't have my, my notebook here right now, but um, like for the first day, I want to do like um, clean eating substitutions, like with baking, like using applesauce instead of um, – butter I think it is that kind of stuff and then posting um a recipe for that and then inviting everyone else to do that the same way um and I want to do one day dedicated to um like your water intake and how to calculate what you need to be doing every day um and then another thing is um portion control and like how um you can and talking about macros and how much your body needs and then um how to weigh and measure stuff and that's where i want to sneak in the 21 day fix for sure um so i'm still working on where i'm going to um add things in um but i definitely am going to be doing like um shakeology a shakeology day too and um posting some recipes of like those healthy bars um, or the little Shakeology balls or Shakeology pudding. Um, and then this will be where Jen comes in and gives me one more idea. <laughs> yeah. I know I have a couple more things written down, too. I just, off the top of my head, I can't remember. But, yeah, yeah. if anybody has some ideas, um, message me and let me know. And then, um, so we're going to do it the second week of the month. Um, and so at the end of, or towards the end of the week, I'm going to bring up also the coach internship as well so that they all know that that's coming up and everybody's, um, invited to participate. Um, and 
All right, I see somebody. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or yeah, if you want to help. I think the clean eating thing will be really good. And like you said, you can, you know, factor in like the Shakeology balls, factor in the 21 day fix portion control. Um, you can also at like end or, you know, talk about the three day refresh as being like mm -hmm. a quick fix thing. Um, and the ultimate reset is big too. So yeah, there's a lot of good ideas that you can sneak beach body in and mm -hmm. so be like, uh, so I think that'll be really good. And, um, be exciting to see how it goes. Yeah. Did you say you were going to make a group on this? Yeah, it's going to be like a challenge group, and I'm going to uh -huh. um, restart it uh, the second Monday of every month. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Sorry, I just got on. <laughs> yeah, no, no problem. So I'm not sure exactly how that works yet because um, I've never really done them before. But so that's where I'm going to be nudging Amy to tell me how I, you know, clean out the group and restart it again and this and that. But it'll be, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it the same every week or if I, I'll probably like switch up recipes and stuff, but it'll probably be the same concept every day of the week. Awesome. My plan. So I want to do that. Cool. And are there going to be any requirements on getting into the group or is it just going to be your, you'll just post it like in the boom or post it in our challenge groups? Yeah, I want it to be just, yeah, post it in your challenge group and anybody that wants to participate can participate. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I want it to be. Sydney? Yeah. Um, go in, make sure you're looking at, uh, on the Team Beachbody site at the top, the Eat Smart tab. Okay. Go in there. There's a lot of great tips right on your own Team Beachbody account. Okay. Will do. Thank you. Uh, one, one other idea is that I think Brittany Sierra might be doing is they're doing a clean eating challenge. And I don't know if they're going to, after it ends, then ask, invite anyone to do, to come and do a, like a, a three day um, refresh. You know, so that could be another, like, a group that you, you know, jump off, you know, when you yeah. finish this one, because there's no requirements, you're in there, then anyone now, if you like get another five pounds off, we're going to do a three day refresh with to do that, you're going to have to get the challenge back. Perfect. So I like that. Another, yeah, little, sure. another little group, you know, a five day group. So in that case, like, would you think I should tell them that like, that would start like, after this, we're going to be like, well, I need to buy it, like, and we need a couple of days, like, because, right. again, I've never run anything like this, so how should I set that? Yeah. I guess I could talk to Amy about it afterwards. Yeah, so, yeah, so maybe weekend. I could, when it yeah. ends, you could say, one in one week, we're going to start the three-day um, refresh to so anyone that wants to or something. Oh, are we frozen? Amy, can okay. you hear me? Yeah, I can get it done. Okay. okay. Yeah. Like any other questions for Sydney? I have a question. Okay. Hi. This is for or anybody, I guess. How do you find um, Shakeology customers? Because going through like doing Instagram invites, and then once they add me on Facebook, and I go through the script and you know get them into team boom and everything it's more about getting them to become a coach rather than just finding like shakeology customers is that just through like putting up pictures and advertising it kind of or do you mostly just get customers once you become emerald and get the free customers yeah no with shakeology like i do focus more on the programs and then um well, I, I ask them about what their fitness and nutrition is, and I always recommend Shakeology at first. And it's definitely a harder thing to to share, sell than than a workout. Um, but when you it's kind like of we're in the script, so I guess that's where I'm. Where do I like throw that in? About um, trying about using Shakeology. Yeah. Or what? So. Oh, you can go ahead, Amy. No, I was just going to say just by from like in our challenge group, like for one, I know everyone, we, we post about it all the time. 
So people will start to see it more. Like pe my customers message me and say, what's this Shakeology stuff you guys are talking about? I also, when I see people post things, like they make a smoothie or something, I'll comment and be like, oh, that would be really great if you added Shakeology to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're like, what's that? And then it's like, so I'm all, then I like have a little script about Shakeology and like all the ingredients in it, which I can send to you. Um, so I'm just okay. like constantly promoting it in there. And then also when I talk about like workout programs and stuff, I always talk yeah. about challenge paths, yeah. especially like, um, you know, Pio and all that, the ones that are cheaper. It, I, I just talk about how it's like, oh, it's not that much more to get it with Shakeology and like, and you can get into our challenge, our private challenge group and stuff like that. So, um, I mostly talk to people more about the coaching and getting, signing up with the challenge pack than just getting yeah. people to buy Shakeology. Um, but just tell her really quick. There's something on the coach I'm like, oh, uh -oh. this is and, um, on that um oh i forgot that, that threw me off um oh so something that i learned at summit though um is to when you start talking about it with your customers like i would bring it up and when you when they're talking about their nutrition with you like bring it up like oh well have you heard of shakeology or have you ever thought about trying it out um and then, so what I learned at Summit is to kind of make it, don't like start talking about like immediately all the great things that are in it and like there's 70 ingredients and this and that and there's, you know, you're the expert about this product. Start talking more about like what it's done for you and how much you enjoy it. And, um, and at first, like when I first started using it, I was like, that was hard for me to do because I didn't really have that experience with it. And, like, it really is true for me. Like, I can't go a day without Shakeology. I have it every single day. And I have noticed, you know, how much it's helped my digestion and how much better I feel and how much energy I have. So just kind of you give them your story of how it is such a great thing on top of. Like, right now, I've been um, – I just kind of give them my one little statement about it, and I just say, you know, psychology is one of the best things that's ever happened to me. And um, if you if you want more information about it, then we can talk about it. And usually they do want me to tell them more about, like, okay, well, what's in it? And then I'll either, you know, start rambling on, or I tell them go to, I give them my Shakeology website, and I say, um, go look at look up here and here's the nutrition facts and here's all the flavors and then there's some success stories you can see too and I tell them to go look at that and then um, let me know when they have and what other questions they have okay. I just want to throw in there real quick when people post in your group and they say you know I need help with nutrition or their meals are bad or they don't have time you know that's a great time to talk about Shakeology like it's fast it's easy they can take it for breakfast on the go if someone says they don't eat breakfast I mean you need to really like pay attention to what your people are posting in the group because a lot of times in the group besides fitness they're going to ask about nutrition and that's a perfect time to share your story about Shakeology yeah. Okay, everyone, it's, it's been uh, 45 minutes, so I guess uh, we, don't, we, we like to keep them to like about that amount of time so everybody can get on with their evening. And I just want to say thank you to Sydney. That was uh, excellent. You gave us some great tips and point, pointers and Amy um, for being a great leader also. And Sydney's really stepping up the next step and she she also is taking the shooting to diamond and that really helped you um you've done all the training in all three and i have to say she did every assignment every video and that really i think um you really got a lot of info out of that and it really upped your game and stepping up to be a leader wouldn't yeah, you say you. yeah yeah oh can i say one yeah. more thing that i um always keep in mind to myself um, it's actually in the 45 second presentation and it's um, how they say that um, they're talking about well, you wouldn't want a doctor to only get two weeks of training and then come in and do surgery on you like we need to treat this like school like you're in MLM school 
and like you need to put in the time. So like, don't get frustrated after, you know, two weeks of being a coach. Like we're here to learn and it's going to take a little bit of time. So just stick, do your homework, do your assignments, do your groups and do just everything that we're, we're trying to teach you guys and just stick with it. Excellent. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. And on that note, we're going to end. So everyone have a great weekend and uh, push hard for the team cup the last week. So we'll see who gets shipped that trophy. <laughs> All right, everyone. Bye. 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 Thanks for getting on. <laughs>